Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to look at SSH proxying, also known as the poor man's VPN. Now this is very useful if you want to manage the graphical user interface of a remote router for example, if you're not so comfortable in the command line. So we'll do it in three steps. In step one, you need to make sure SSH is running on your remote host. So if you don't have remote access there, you'll obviously have to do it on site. So enable your SSH server, make sure it's listening on the LAN and the default port 22. It's preferable to use SSH keys, but we're not going to do that in this tutorial. You also need to make a firewall rule. So I already have one in place and I can't turn this off because it will kick me off so I'll just go to edit so you want to add a new firewall rule call it something like remote SSH the protocol is TCP the source zone is the WAN leave the source MAC address the source IP address don't open your SSH server to the entire internet please specify an IP address so this is mine from home you don't need a source port or external IP address Specify an external port, something like 40,022. Don't specify 22 because you get all sorts of bots listening or probing those ports. So specify something in the higher range. I've picked 40,022. We want that to be forwarded to our LAN. And then our router's IP address, that's the local IP address. And forward that to 22 where our SSH server is listening on. So. That was step one of our tutorial, opening the firewall rule and making sure SSH was turned on. So now we're at home, we can use PowerShell to SSH. Thank you to someone else in a comment in an earlier video for pointing that out. I've been using PuTTY forever and I completely forgot that you can SSH in PowerShell, so thanks for that. So open up PowerShell and SSH do hyphen D because we're going to specify the port that we want opening. So let's just pick something like 42333. Three. We're going to then do root at our SSH server's IP address, or you can use the host name. And we're also going to specify the port which was 40,000 and 22, remember from our firewall rule. Hit enter, and you can see we've been prompted for the password for the router. Let's just put that one in, and we are in. So now we can manage our router over the command line remotely over a secure encrypted tunnel. So now that we've got our SSH open, um, if you try and browse to the remote host's local IP, it'll just time out because that address is not routable over the internet. This page will just time out. So using your browser's proxy function, which you can do in Firefox and Safari, and I'm going to presume Chrome as well, you just hit settings, manual proxy configuration. The SOX host is 127.0.0.1, that's ourself. And then remember 42333, which we specified just there. Hit OK. And if we try and browse to this page again, there we go. We've got remote administration to our remote host. So that was how to SSH proxy into your remote host and manage it via the graphical user interface. Remember what I said about don't open the SSH server to the entire internet, use a static IP address. Also don't use 22, use a higher range for your external port like 40,000, 50,000, use a higher range. And if you want to explore using SSH keys, that will also give you an added layer of security. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.